The James Webb Space Telescope surprised scientists by accidentally discovering the first supernova, the explosion of a dying star. NASA's $10 billion telescope captures a starburst more than 3 million years old that wasn't there when Hubble looked at the same galaxy in 2011. Scientists say this evidence could open up a whole new field of research. Just days into its scientific work, the NERCAM camera on the James Webb Space Telescope has detected a surprisingly bright object in a distant galaxy, about 3 billion to 4 billion light years from Earth. Officially known as a supernova, it has been called the last bit of fun that occurs when a star runs out of fuel. This reduces the pressure, expands the cosmic body to at least five times the mass of our sun, about the size of 333,000 Earths, and then explodes, releasing massive amounts of debris and particles. The starburst occurred in the faraway galaxy and images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope showed that the bright object faded after five days, indicating that it may have been a supernova, caught by chance shortly after the star exploded. Astronomers compared the new observations with archived data from the Hubble Space Telescope to confirm that the beam of light is definitely new. Older telescopes scan large areas of the sky at short intervals. On the other hand, Webb studied in detail a small part of the universe. For example, in mid-July, it covered the area of a grain of sand. Because the discovery occurred during the first week of Webb science operations, astronomers believe the depth of Webb's image can compensate for this small region. Each deep field image contains hundreds of galaxies meaning there are hundreds of opportunities to detect the supernova. This discovery indicates that telescopes can regularly see supernova. Very exciting news in terms of discovering what's out there, especially since Webb is expected to see the first galaxies that formed in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. By combining this ancient insight with his discovery of an unexpected supernova, Webb may be able to capture the explosion of one of the first stars to light up the universe in the early dark ages. According to astronomers, the chemical composition of these stars is much simpler than that of the stars that were born later. Scientists say, we think that the first million years of stars were mostly, almost entirely, hydrogen and helium, a different kind of star than we've seen up until now. One astronomer actually said it's going to be massive, 200 to 300 times the mass of our sun. And they're definitely going to live fast and die soon. To see these kinds of flares is something we've never seen before. It really did blow our minds. Scientists say the James Webb Space Telescope wasn't designed to detect new passerby. Yet the supernova was captured using the NERCAM instrument which is actually designed to detect light from early stars and galaxies using a broad spectrum of infrared light. The NERCAM is equipped with a coronagraph, a tool that allows astronomers to take pictures of very faint objects around bright central objects, such as star systems and in our case, starbursts. The dying star appears as a small bright dot in the image, but was not present in the 2011 Hubble Space Telescope image of the Milky Way. The team of scientists used software designed to detect image differences that lead to position. The James Webb Telescope has proven to be worth the money, even a week after its launch. Not only were the first official images from deep space unveiled on July 12th, but a week later, scientists announced that they had revealed a 13.5 billion year old galaxy that is now the oldest galaxy in the universe visible to the human eye. This galaxy was formed a mere 300 million years after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. So researchers point out that despite their age, each galaxy is very young. One of the galaxies discovered about 1,600 light years across 
while the other one is about 2,300 light years across. Now compare this to our Milky Way, which is 100,000 light years across. Both galaxies are said to have a mass of a billion suns because they form shortly after the Big Bang. The team believes this happens when the galaxy grows and eats up stars in the region. These two objects are already imposing new constraints on the evolution of galaxies at the dawn of the universe. The discovery of a supernova marked the death of a much younger star that was only 3 billion years old, but it was a promising start, especially since this telescope was actually built to do something completely different. It's hard to identify supernova because the explosion itself only lasts for a fraction of a second. The glowing bubbles of dust and gas from the death of these stars disappear only after a few days. So telescopes must be looking in exactly the right direction in time to catch one. So astronomers now hope that this is not just a coincidence and they'll be able to see much more of this. So thanks for watching. Hit the likey likey, subscribey subscribey because you are now in the family.